Welcome to Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday, brought to you by Big Beard Battery. Visit BigBeardBattery.com. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That way you don't miss anything. Hit the subscribe button now. Thank you. Hey, this week I'm gonna go ahead and answer the question, inverters, right? What size, what do I need? What do they do? So let's go ahead and cover that. Now an inverter is gonna take the battery power, whatever battery bank you have, it's going to process it, and of course step it up to 120 volts. So typically, it's the exact opposite of your converter. Now a converter takes the high volts AC, steps down low volts DC. The inverter is gonna take low volts DC and produce high volts AC to be able to run some of those, you know, some of those things that you have when you're maybe not plugged into shore power. You wanna run your TV, maybe run the air conditioner, uh, GFCI circuit or whatnot. Now inverters come in different sizes and it's not just based on the footprint. It's on the output size. So what do I mean by that? Now, most inverters are either rated based on their wattage output or what we call their VA output, volts amps, okay? So I've got three different sizes here and let's start off with this one. And it's, it's kind of the most common. Now this particular model, this particular brand is not very common, at least in the RV market. They typically wanna put in a cheaper style inverter, but this is a 1200 VA, 1200 VA volts amps, uh, equivalent to a thousand watt inverter. Okay, now if you may have this in the RV, you bought your RV and it comes with a solar package, there may be a thousand watt inverter equipped on there and typically it's going to be on your GFCI. So what can it run? Well, it can run up to a thousand watts. So we don't put it on circuits to run air conditioners or anything else, but maybe on the GFCI, if you're off grading or something like that, you want to run the refrigerator. Uh, possibly you want to run, uh, maybe, just maybe, uh, a small coffee pot, want to cook with it or something like that. So what we're doing is we're looking at the wattage output of the inverter to be able to determine what we can run. So if we step away from what maybe what the OEM provides, a smaller inverter, let's say we want to step it up. You're off grid or something like that. It's hot outside and you want to run, say, the air conditioner inside the RV, right? So we look at large components, air conditioner or microwave. So now we're gonna step up to what we call a whole RV inverter. Can't run everything uh, in, the invert, uh, in the RV, but what it can do is run the largest circuit. If it can run the largest circuit, then it can run anything in the RV. Typically the largest circuit in the RV is gonna be the air conditioner. Now this right here, this is uh, the Vitron MultiPlus 3000. Now, this is just a MultiPlus 3000 VA, it can do about 2400 watts. So it's strong enough to run the air conditioner by itself, providing I've got enough batteries to do that. Strong enough to run the microwave and the TV and say the refrigerator possibly at the same time, right? But it can't run the microwave, refrigerator and air conditioner at the same time because it's only 2400 watts. So then we'd look at a larger inverter, a larger output inverter. Now this is the MultiPlus 2 5,000 watt, I'm sorry, 5,000 VA um, inverter or roughly around 4,400 watts. That's what this one can push, which could run, say the microwave and the air conditioner at the same time. So when you're looking at whether you have an inverter, you wanna find out what the output uh, wattage is or VA, or you wanna look at maybe what do you want to run? Because let's say you haven't bought an inverter solar system yet, what do I buy? Always think about what do you see yourself doing? Where do you see yourself doing it if you could take your power with you? If eating is optional for you uh, and you're very skinny and thus cold natured and don't need the air conditioner, then you can probably go with a smaller inverter. You don't need to run the air conditioner, but you want some of those smaller things that you can run. If you do want to run an air conditioner, well, then maybe the MultiPlus. If you want to run two air conditioners, then yes, you need to get two MultiPluses, okay? If you want to run, say, the air conditioner and the microwave, then we could step up to the MultiPlus 5000. The one thing I do want to say about Vitron, they're a little unique. They only give you a single leg out. So when you step up to something like this, you need two if you have a 50 amp RV. Now this is, 4,000 watts continuous, maybe 4,400, somewhere around there. I could put this in a 30 amp RV and then run everything up to 30 amps, okay? And we've done that from time to time. It's really not a difference of 30 amp versus 50 amp total output. However, if you do have a 50 amp RV with two hot legs, 
then you'll need two inverters if you want to run more than one air conditioner at a time. There's your tech tip. Hey, if you got questions about batteries or want to go ahead and put in a solar system, but need some guidance, head over to BigBeardBattery.com, fill out the solar design form, and one of our certified solar experts will give you a call and get you started. <laughs> That's right. <sighs> All right. <laughs> what form is it that we're going to fill out? If you'd like to know, <laughs> certified solar trained experts. experts. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> This is normal. <laughs> Go over to Big Bid. Nah. One of our. You want some chocolate? Totally scrub that up. All right. <laughs> One of our trained, certified experts. All right. <laughs> I'll wait for everyone else. Fill out the damn form, right? And wait for the phone to ring. Damn it, we'll help you out. <laughs> Best thing you ever put in your mouth. <laughs> First try. First try.